Hi, I'm here on a Sunday afternoon at the San Marcos Activity Center. I'm here with Norma Geyer, who is from the Texas State University Career Services. Correct. And what's going on here today, Norma? What's, what are, what's with all the young college students and the employers getting together? Yes, we have um, an intern fair occurring today here, and we're really excited to have students from Texas State University as well as some of the area high schools as well. Um, we're partnering with the city, with the Chamber of Commerce, and with our neighboring um, cities and chambers as well in this endeavor to engage our students in meaningful experiences so that um, they can learn a little bit more and apply what they're learning in the classroom and also so that area businesses can benefit from the talent and the expertise that these students bring to the table. Networking is a key factor in student success and in business success as well. So it's very exciting to bring our students together with the um, employers in this endeavor, particularly small to medium-sized employers in the San Marcos area. And then I replaced them. They have better opportunities. If a student has an internship, they have better opportunities of finding that job after graduating. And Daniel, what, uh, how is this going to help the city, and what do you think is the benefit of this event here today? You know, we, we did our analysis of, of San Marcos and looked at some of the demographics. What you notice is that the population of San Marcos, 47% of our population is between the ages of 15 and it's a, it's a huge opportunity to be able to capture some great talent, be able to put them in a place where they can add a tremendous value to our workforce, tremendous value to, to industry, tremendous value to small businesses in San Marcos. And the, the challenge that we have right now is over the last 30, if not more years, that population has maintained about 47% and then immediately just drops off. And our community suffers from what we typically refer to as brain drain individuals with a lot of talent, uh, resources that have been invested in them here in San Marcos, either through the university or through the school district, and going elsewhere for opportunities for employment. And so this gives us a chance to really build some bridges, cultivate and nurture some relationships where uh, young people and professionals, small business owners, large business owners, can start cultivating those talents now and doing our best to try to keep them here so that they can perhaps either add to the business climate here or maybe even take an entrepreneurial uh, spin and start their own businesses. And that's really what we're trying to foster here in San Marcos. Well, good. Well, thank you for being out here today and uh, look forward to seeing uh, how many of the up here and keep them here in San Marcos. We're all, we're all there behind you on that Thank one. you very much. Thank, thank you. Well, in just a few minutes, this room behind me will be filled with both employers and students, both at the level, that want to intern. And when you talk about intern, everybody thinks of that they're being taken advantage of. It. It's a good win-win situation for both businesses and for the students because they get projects, they get time, they get to find out a little bit about what it's like in the business world, and they also can contribute. And that's the neat thing about this is it's a learning experience for everyone. So we're going to see all the different people that are here. We're going to listen in on some of the questions. And it's a good job fair without any money being exchanged. But the financial implications of this are great, both for the students and for the businesses and for keeping students here locally. And that's the critical thing that we need to be looking for in the future. So we'll talk some more to some of these people and find out how they like the process. Nicholas, tell me, what, what do you think about the uh, event here today and how that's going to help the city? Well, I think in a, in a world where work experience seems to be valued over everything else, your education, you know, race and sex, work experience is the greatest thing you can have, and an internship is what provides that for you. You don't get that through school, you don't get it by you know, playing games on the computer, so 
Just you got to go out there, find an internship, and there's lots of people out here that are willing to help, and it's great to see that the city is uh, taking part in that. That's really good. Now you're uh, also going to get yourself involved uh, with something going on for yeah. the city. I hear yeah. coming November. What uh, what's up in your life? We filed for place three, so that's going pretty well so far. Obviously, going to a couple events. Got a uh, LBJ birthday bash later. Y'all going to be there? Uh, it, it, the first few days, first few weeks are trial period for both you and the What have you learned so far? What's some of the neat stuff that you think is going to apply for you? So far, well, we just started on Friday. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> but we, we've, got, we, we've talked about some things that are coming up, like we'll be attending um, council member meetings, yeah. you know, which I think will be cool to kind of uh, get, get a feel for every each department, job shadow in yeah, each department. Yeah, we get job shadow for different yeah. departments of our choice. So. Now, and what's your major? What, what? Applied sociology. Applied sociology. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of the research side of sociology. But this internship is also my last thing before I graduate. And we're here with Nathan with Campus to Careers. Tell us a little bit about how you got involved and what's going on here today at the uh, community center. So Campus to Careers is the first job board on the net for small businesses, nonprofits, and students exclusively. And the reason why that matters is 90% of the job growth in the last three years has been at companies less than five years old and less than 250 employees. But unfortunately, their names and brands students never hear of. Uh, so the goal of our site and the goal of this fair actually, is to connect the, the, the small business owner uh, you know, on Main Street with the student down the street. And in this case, down the street is Texas State University. And we're here with Chris Jones, and today you're kind of doing dual role. You're here as a council member, but primarily you're here representing Texas State. Right. Um, it, I, I do work for Texas State, and I'm a career advisor up at the university. And one of the projects that we wanted to launch here in San Marcos is a project that we kind of heard about through career services that other cities were doing where they were involving, you know, partnerships, regional partnerships in order to deliver um, career opportunities and internship opportunities to students. So we decided to start with the internship opportunity, and that's what we're doing now. And I know I talked with the mayor earlier, you know, one of the things that came up in city council was the demographics and that we're losing the people once they turn 24, that they're leaving San Marcos. And this is one of the ways, I think, that we're looking, they're trying to work to keep them here locally with the businesses, correct? Very much so, very much so. One of the things that we did early on is we partnered with local chambers. So we partnered with the San Marcos Chamber, the Buda Chamber, the Kyle Chamber, Church Chamber, Lockhart, and Luling to try to get local employers to interact Introduce um, internships to some of the some of the 15 to 27 uh, year olds in our community. So there, part of this is that you were looking outside of the San Marcos and Hayes County area, but to the whole corridor between Austin and San Antonio, correct? That's correct. And so, you know, that's what's good is that we're looking to try to get from the local area here to concentrate, to populate, and to get those skills out. What are some of the skills that we're seeing the need for here primarily today? Um, a lot of the skills that, we, that we've found through surveys and different things are our employers are looking for a lot of those soft skills, the ability to communicate, the ability to sell, the ability to market um, the different products that they have. Um, in addition to that, there are also some who are looking for the technical skills, um, such as you know, sound recording and music and things along those lines. So it's it's a very interesting demographic um, because some of the other employers are supporting employers that support larger industries, such as medical and healthcare, and um, also um, also your tech industry. So. It's, it's a little bit of a hybrid. If I were going to say the skills that a lot of the employers are consistently looking for, they're those soft skills. Ability to communicate, ability to market um, the different products and services that, that employers provide, and, and those kind of things. So those are really the skills that they've they identified. Well, Chris, thank you very much for helping to put this on, and uh, good luck in the race, and look forward to talking to you here some more in a few weeks. Thank you. Thank you. Congressman Doggett, you're here, and there's all of these young people that are uh, wanting to intern, and I know you're going up to LBJ's birthday party. Today. Right. And how does that kind of tie in with the vision that uh, uh, Lyndon Johnson had for the young people getting them involved in the community? Well, so much talent here is reflected in the museum on Courthouse Square. He got involved. His career for the presidency began right here in San Marcos. And uh, I see a great deal of talent here today. I've benefited in both my Austin and Washington office 
from having uh, Texas State students participate as internships, and I hope that uh, I may recruit one or two here. But yeah. mainly, it's good to see, you know, like the uh, Hayes Caldwell Women's Center, uh, Buda, different uh, local organizations providing opportunities for students and a good opportunity to match up because as you're looking for a job later, having these internships really counts on the resume. Well, and I know your district is going to be changing going down to San Antonio and along the corridor, and that's one of the things I just talked with Chris Jones, is that they are reaching out from just Hayes County and San Marcos, and we've included a lot of the corridor here. What do you see with this district that, you know, as it's expanding and regrowing with the growth and with the need for those students there? Well, this district, this particular district that I have, I've represented uh, Hayes County when I was a 26-year-old state senator representing this area, but in Congress I represent all of the county now. Under this new plan that the Governor Perry came up to get rid of me, he has a narrow sliver that connects East Austin and the Alamo and about most of the east side of Hayes County, now, all of downtown Kyle, some of San Marcos, but here are opportunities to connect this whole corridor, I think uh, over our lifetime we see the two kind of growing together. So San Antonio with San Marcos right here in the middle uh, and Austin all being kind of one big metropolis. So an opportunity for students to participate in very diverse and meaningful ways. All right. Well, Congressman, thank you very much thank for your you. time. It I appreciate it. It's an honor to represent Hayes County and Texas State well, in the United States Congress. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll let you get on to thank the you. Thank you.